sets to see. Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new episode of The Far Experience. So as you know, we bring you the real life raw experiences from around the world. So today we are again going back to India and we are going to one of the uh, one of the India's most iconic landmark, the Qutub Minar. So whether you are into history, architecture or just a curious traveler, buckle up. So we are gonna explore this mission. So located at the heart of Delhi, which is basically the capital of India, Qutub Minar stands 73 feet tall and it's one of the tallest brick minaret in the world. But there's a long story behind this towering masterpiece. So it was commissioned by Qutbuddin Abak, who was basically the founder of the Delhi Sultanate in the in 1193 AD. Now, mind it guys, when you go there, there is, as you can see, it's crazy rush. So I would recommend anybody who is visiting Qutub Minar to try and book the tickets online because nowadays they are offering the tickets online. Mind it guys, this Minar is not just a testament to the architectural brilliance but also a symbol of the cultural and political changes that mark the history or basically the period of Indian history. Now as you can see a beautiful glimpse of the entire campus and as soon as you enter you would be able to see the minaret from quite a while. Like. So that's a beautiful glimpse of Minar from some distance and you can see planes flying right on top of that all the time because we have got the Indra Gandhi International Airport in Delhi, uh, I think in the vicinity. It's, it's renowned for its structural, basically architectural details. This is made up of red sandstone. The minar is adorned with intricate carvings and inscriptions in Arabic. And this building consists of five distinct stories, each with its own balcony and decorative elements. Now this is also basically a complex and this includes a few other architectural monuments apart from the Qutub Minar. So basically they call it the Qutub complex and it has got certain forts as well apart from that minaret like Lal Court and this is basically um, with time as I said over the centuries this place has faced a lot of challenges including damage from earthquakes and the ravages of time but thanks to the extensive restoration efforts it continues to stand proudly as a heritage site and by the way guys this is a UNESCO heritage world site. So if you're planning to visit, my guys, this has been to tourists throughout the year and it's a great spot for history, photography and anyone interested in exploring India's architectural wonders. Remember to check the latest with the guide length and timing before you go and you can find it online. You know, a lot of things have, are online even for India so you can uh, check out and book even the ticks online. Also, since it's a very big campus, don't forget to take a stroll through the lush greens and gardens around the Minar. And also, I would recommend you that the best is still yet to come. So I try to visit it around the evening because the beauty, the real beauty actually comes out after 
you know it's dark when the lightings are on and that view is mesmerizing so you would actually get a perfect place to soak in the atmosphere and so just try it visit around the sunset and that's the best time Mind it, this is one of the most visited spot in Delhi in the city, so you can expect a lot of crowd there. So make sure to plan your visit accordingly. Now, in the recent years, this place has been illuminated for all special occasion uh, involving international relations. So, like in September 2023, the monument was lit up in colors of the Mexican flag to celebrate Mexico's 213th Independence Day. which was an event which was even acknowledged and appreciated by the embassy of mexico in india so right now as you can see on the screen the sun is about to set and we are going to see the real beauty Also the Qutub Minar consists of five stories of red and gray sandstone uh so like um, the fifth story was basically constructed at the end towards 1369 and then there was a lot of controversy even related to it and in the past i know people actually were able to go and visit the top floor without any issues but you know with a, a few deaths and such problems so now they have closed like visiting the top floor or even going in inside but then you know that would have been a beautiful view as i promised that's the night view and you can see it's it's really beautiful indeed so must visit at the evening times for sure also mind it guys in the past there has been a lot of accidents like Uh, let's say 1946 a Czech actress actually fell down from the tower to her death and that's one of the reason like they stopped letting people go to the top of the minaret but some s- something of say similar instance have been happening all the time there were stampede uh, there were suicides so unfortunately but it is so that's blocked for now As I explained to you guys, just look at the beauty of the night time. And it's not just this minaret. So this is a Qutub complex. You have got a lot, lot of old mosques around the area in the same complex, and all historical ruins. They are all lined up, and that actually shows you the the mixed culture which India possess. So it's a must watch. Just waiting on you. 
if you have made it to so until so far that's the wrap up of our tour of the Qutub Minar we hope you enjoyed this journey through history and architecture if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions thank you for watching and see you in the next video